Hello guys and welcome back to another video and in this Zod 500 FC video we're going to be predicting the African Nations Championship. Yeah. When was the last one of these things? 2018. So yeah, this is this is kind of big news. There is 12 there's 18 teams in this tournament, and they want to win. I know I should probably do this at the end of the World Cup, because Morocco's in the tournament, but whatever. Group A, it is Algeria, Ethiopia, Libya, and Mozambique. I don't even know what this is, but I don't even know what the African Nations Championship is, but we'll just roll with it. Algeria, Ethiopia, Libya, and Mozambique. I'm saying at fourth place in the group, it will be Libya. I don't really show much hope for Libya. I don't think Libya are a good team. And I don't think they're... De I definitely don't think they're good enough to be able to top the likes of even Mozambique. But I do think Mozambique does get third with their AK-47 on a book on their flag. That's weird, but okay. And Mozambique. Yeah. 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 They're a good team. Like, they could definitely upset Ethiopia, but I'm just genuinely saying that I don't, I just don't think they will. And third in the group, I think they will go for Mozambique. Second, though, Ethiopia, and first, of course, Algeria. Algeria is just a powerhouse in Africa. It doesn't matter, it doesn't really matter who they're playing. They could always win. Like, they could play against Egypt. They can win. They were just really unlucky against Cameroon and qualifiers to uh, be eliminated in such fashion. Group B, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Côte d'Ivoire, Senegal, and Uganda. Oof, oof. Fourth place, 100, 100%. I'm saying it is Uganda. I just, how do I put this? I just don't see Uganda having enough quality to make it out of the group. Like, you know what, you know, I just, Uganda, like, <sighs> sure, yeah, they made the 2019 AFCON, but really, they're not that quality field, you know what I mean? You got into fourth. Third, I do say it is the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And I I'm gonna say they're only gonna get third. They're gonna they're gonna beat Uganda. They're gonna draw with Cote d'Ivoire and then when they play Senegal wait what's their matchups actually? Yeah so I'm actually what they're gonna beat Uganda and I'm actually too they're gonna they're gonna draw with Cote d'Ivoire on the last match day, when they're playing Senegal, they're going to score first. But then Senegal's going to be like, goal, 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 goal. Like, five goals or something. Like, four or five goals in this game against Sierra Congo. And Ivory Coast, they really need winning against Sky and They need to like, goal, 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 goal. Like, goal after goal after goal. And I do think that will... In the end, put Democratic Republic of the Congo in third. Group C is Ghana, Madagascar, Morocco, and Sudan. Well, we do know who's going to go through in first and second. Who am I going to say fourth and third? I'm going to say in fourth. Yeah, this is easy. Sudan. Like, come on. Da. Like, what, what am I supposed to say? Sudan have not done nearly enough. To even kind of impress me. Sudan have, well, yeah, they've made it to AFCONs. They have made it to AFCONs. They might have made a World Cup back in like the 50s or something. I'm just saying that Sudan I really don't have enough quality on their side. And I'm saying fourth for the Sudanese. And then third, Madagascar. Yeah, I mean, that was expected. Like, the likes of Ghana and Morocco are just, like, infinitely times better than Madagascar. 
And, yeah, they might beat Sedan, but I'm thinking that this could probably be... It's either going to be a group where the points are like 7, 7, 3, 0, or 9, 6, 3, 0. And I'm going to say Morocco tops the group. Ghana second. If you did not think I was going to do that, I don't know where your brain is. Look at the World Cup. Who's not caring about the World Cup right now? Are you not caring about the World Cup? Like, seriously. Who is not paying attention to the World Cup? Yeah, Ghana, they were really impressive at the tournament. But Morocco beat Belgium, nearly Croatia, Spain, Canada. They're not necessarily favorited against Portugal. But this is probably the strongest African team we've had at the World Cup. This team right here might be the first African team to make the semis. Realistically, if they just score against Portugal and just put everyone in the defense, like even the attackers in the defense, what are the chances Portugal is going to score? Like, what are the chances? Group D, Angola, Mali, and Mauritania. This is the most predictable group, period. Third place, Mauritania. Second, Angola. First, Mali. Are you really questioning me on this one? Sure, Angola is the only team to make the World Cup from this group, but Mauritania, they have made the AFCON twice, 2019 and 2021, and they were terrible both times. World Cup qualifying for 2022, terrible. The likes of Equatorial Guinea and Zambia were in their group. Of course, Tunisia was as well. But they only had, like, what, one point? Angola has just been falling and falling even since, like, 2010. They really have not won much games since 2014. We're actually going to check this. Angola FC. We're actually going to look at their record from recently. From 2022, in friendlies, they beat Guinea-Bissau, drew with Equatorial Guinea, beat Botswana, and drew with South Africa. Not bad. In qualifying for AFCON, they beat Carr and drew with Madagascar. Not bad. Kasafa Cup, they beat Comoros, they beat Se Seychelles. Not bad. And you lose to Botswana. Botswana. And then Mali. Mali are definitely the strongest African team that have never made the World Cup. And let's be honest, they probably will in 2026. Anyways. And Group E, this final group, it is Cameroon, the Republic of the Congo, and Niger. This is probably less predictable than Group D because who knows Congo and Niger, but we do know Cameroon is definitely going to get first. But who's going to top that, with Congo or Niger? And I'm saying the answer is... I think in second will be Niger, and third will be the Republic of the Congo. Congo, yeah, I think they made the Afghan recently, rather. But why am I saying Niger out of nowhere? I'm saying Niger, it's not out of nowhere. They were... Okay, yes, they they got third and with only seven points. But they were rather impressive at World Cup qualifiers. And who knows, I might even be surprised if they don't make the AFCON. Like, their group was Algeria, Burkina, Faso, and Djibouti. And they beat Djibouti 7-2 on one occasion. Drew with Burkina, Faso... And their games against Algeria were not that, uh, not that easy. That was not that easy. Let's look at their African Cup of Nations qualifiers. They are in a group with Algeria, familiar foe, so maybe they know how to, like, get around Algeria, maybe score a couple times. Tanzania and Uganda, they drew both 1-1. And who even knows, maybe, maybe Tanzania or Uganda, or even both, will struggle. But it is good to see Niger, T Tanzania, or Uganda at the next AFCON in 2023. I would love to... No, the hell? I would love to see that. So, 
After this one, I am going to be predicting the AFF Championship. This took way longer than it should have. Peace.